Hey everybody, welcome back to another Making Stuff video. Today I'm going to continue working on the mini jet boat and my goal is to have the engine up and running by the end of the video. So in order for that to happen though, there's a few things I've got to do. I've got to mount the muffler, then install the exhaust lines. Uh, I've also got to do all the plumbing, that's like the water cooling lines, the fuel lines, and the fuel tank. And then last but not least, I've got to get that computer mounted and get all of the wires hooked up to it. Now, if you watched the last video, you will know that I got the engine mounted, the intake mounted and sealed, and that Lovejoy connection all connected up correctly. So I think the next thing I'm going to start on is the exhaust. And the first piece of that puzzle is going to be putting the muffler on right here. And I have already run into a, a problem. So let me show you what that is. And here is the problem that I have with the muffler. As you can see here, I've got it pushed all the way back up against the transom. And this pipe right here has to go into that hole. And as you can see, there's just no way to make that happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off, then patch up the hole drill a hole on the side of the muffler, weld this back on, and then turn this sideways, and then it should fit right here on the exhaust manifold of the engine. All right, so I got all of that done. And as you can see here, I've got the muffler mounted in the boat. And I'll be honest, I have been dreading this for quite some time now. And I actually put it off because like I said, I was just dreading doing this. And uh, it really wasn't that bad. It was a whole lot easier than what I thought it was gonna be. I was mainly worried about cutting the hole, cutting this piece off and then cutting a hole here and welding it back in. But as you can see, it fits with plenty of clearance. So now I need to work on the exhaust line and have it come up and over and then out the boat.
All right, so I got the computer mounted, I got the sand trap mounted, and I got all of the water lines running into the boat, all hooked up. However, I have not done the outlet lines because I'm waiting on some fittings to show up. But as you can see here, I've got the wiring harness just all laid out here. It's all hooked up, but it's just laying here on the hull of the boat. I've got the stock fuel tank from the jet ski. It's all hooked up and I've got everything hooked up here in the back and I am ready to try and fire this thing up for the first time while this engine is inside of the boat. And I know what some of you guys are thinking, how are you going to fire this thing up with no water running through it? Well, that's a good question. I'm not gonna run it for very long. I'm just gonna do a quick fire up and test. I wanna make sure that the engine's working correctly before I start making modifications to it and also start hacking on that wiring harness. So all I need to do now is put some gas in the gas tank and also hook the battery up and this thing will be ready to test fire. And if you made it this far in the video, you are awesome. Please smash that like button. Give me that big thumbs up and let me know you like what you have seen so far. And also I'm interested in knowing what you think. How many times is it going to take? How many tries will it take to get this engine started and running? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, so I've got the battery hooked up right here and I've just got the negative terminals being held on with an alligator clip there because I don't have any way to quick disconnect this if anything goes wrong, but everything seems to be hooked up. No magic blue smoke left any of these components here in the computer or down here on the screen. So this is the throttle and start button from the jet ski and then this is the brake and the trim, and also this is the little lanyard that if you fall off the jet ski, the uh, motor will shut down. So I guess I'm ready to fire this up. So I'm going to turn it on for the first time here inside the boat. And I hear the fuel pump and some relays going. Here's the screen. Yamaha logo, everything's looking good. Confirm. There is an error here. Uh, okay, the error went away. It said, I think, GPS error. I am indoors, so that could have something to do with it. Couldn't find that GPS signal right away, but uh, you can see here there is a little bit of fuel. So I guess I am ready to try and fire this up. Let me put you guys on the tripod and we will give it a go. And remember, the engine will turn over for five seconds every time I hit the start button right here. So I will consider each time I hit the start button a try. Let's see if it will start. Oh, almost on the first start there, uh, or the first try. Uh, I did not stop that, it started on its own. So let's try it again. It's turning over and it wants to start. I believe there might be some air in the line here. We'll try it again, this will be number three. So it only took three tries to get that engine going and it wanted to go on the first try. Uh, I believe that there was just a little bit of air in that fuel line from where it sat empty all winter with no fuel in the line or the fuel rail. But yeah, it just, it fired right up. I am very excited and it's hard to believe that it's been almost a year. I think it's three days short of a year. I believe the boat was delivered on May 15th of 2022 and filming today is May 11th of 2023. So it took me a year to get this hull welded and the engine in here and running. There's still a lot of work to do, but I'm excited because this is just, this is a big milestone that I've completed here, getting this engine installed and running. Okay, so I think this is a good place to end this video. I think my goal for the next video is going to be getting the rear of the boat fully welded, getting that swim deck on there because I need to mount the nozzle, the reverse bucket, the stomp grate, the steering. I need to get all that done next. And there's a lot of cables and linkage that needs to run back there and you don't want it to interfere with each other. So I think that's gonna be my next goal 
for the next video is to get all of that done. But for now, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me that big thumbs up. And if you aren't a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos. And thanks for watching.